Good morning. Uh, this is a wonderful opportunity that I have to share with you what Intel is doing in open source to help deliver on the promise of big data. So our friends at Cisco estimate that there will be 50 billion connected devices, all communicating, sharing information, machines talking to machines. Uh, uh, we already have the people talking to people with phones and, and text, and et cetera. And that will all generate zettabytes of traffic. Zettabytes. I had to look that up. What is a zettabyte? And the analogy that, that they provided was that's having a byte of data for every grain of sand on all of, of all of the Earth's uh, beaches. That's a lot of traffic. But the magic happens in the data center, where we look for insights and information that's hidden within that, all that vast amount of, of data. And that is the promise that all of the big data uh, provides, and that is the promise of knowledge. So as we look at all this big data, one of the challenges we have is around security. All of our information is there and available, but we want to make sure it's secure. One of the approaches that we're working on is just encryption. Encryption tends to help secure data in all aspects. So working with our partners, uh, Cloudera and the open source community, we really took uh, a focused effort to optimize the effort around uh, encryption. And when we first started, about 50% of the time was spent just setting up the data for the encryption-decryption uh, activity. And what we're able to do, accessing and, and leveraging our optimization skills, uh, taking advantage of our latest Xeon processors, we're able to reduce that overhead down to 3%. That provided a 16x performance improvement in our ability to do encryption. Now, encrypting all data all the time is something that is really uh, possible. So we're able to manage the data with our partnership around Hadoop and the open source community. But to sift through all that information and find the insight, we also need to look at our ability to analyze it. And for that, Intel is continuing to invest and expand our efforts around Spark. By doing that, we want to empower developers to more quickly develop uh, applications to find those insights. Uh, by unlocking those insights quicker, that will accelerate our time to knowledge. And in fact, it's that ability to get quickly from vast amounts of data to the insight and hidden knowledge that it provides is really what's exciting. Here are some examples. I want to show you an example of what happens when we're able to unlock these insights. Today, Intel is working closely with Apache Hadoop and Apache Spark communities to make tomorrow's possibilities a reality. Spark's efficient in-memory computation within the Hadoop Enterprise Data Hub, combined with the performance of Intel architecture, enables advanced analytics with faster real-time decisions. Here are some examples. Care providers in an Alzheimer clinic have alerted authorities that a disoriented patient has wandered away from the facility. Spark technology enables multiple video feeds to be searched and analyzed to locate the patient and render assistance. Using systems equipped with Intel technology, multiple video streams from multiple IoT sources can be analyzed in near real time. Digital signage opens new horizons for conveying messages tailored to the audience, but only if you're hitting the right audience at the right time. Spark technology running on Intel processor-based systems has the analytical power to help make sure the right messages reach the right eyes. To learn more about how Intel technology delivers the performance needed to enable new levels of Spark analytics, please visit us on the web. Well, you can't complete a conversation about Spark without uh, introducing the work that Ian has done with Databricks and Mike with Amp Lab. And we're really excited today to announce that we're expanding our collaboration with both Databricks and Amp Lab to ensure that we advance uh, anal uh, Spark Analytics much faster, working on things together such as GraphX, the machine learning libraries, uh, advancing R, and making sure, of course, that it's optimized to run most efficiently on Intel platforms is something that we're really excited about and looking forward to moving, uh, moving forward with. So just want to end with, as we bridge the gap between big data and knowledge, 
great engineering must happen. So look forward to you joining us in this effort. Thank you.